In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will illustrate funny cartoon style wolf. You will see how to apply different expressions to this character and will be able to use it for your own character illustrations. To create this cartoon wolf, we'll need only ellipse tool, pen tool, shape builder and we'll use rectangle tool just a little. Simple as that. Any beginner can draw interesting and minimalistic cartoon characters with this video. You're watching TNT Tutorials. Let's move on and create a new document. Go to Print, A4, Horizontal Orientation, in Advanced Options select RGB and click on Create. You can download reference images and colors by the link in the video description. I've created background by drawing huge rectangle. I named this layer background. I also have separate layers for colors and reference. So let's begin with creating first one. I will create new layer. Rename your layer number 1 to Wolf1, for example. Then I will place this reference layer here. Return to Wolf1 layer. I for eyedropper tool, pick this bright color. L for ellipse tool, create ellipse like this. M for rectangle tool, draw it here. Select these two objects. Shift plus M for shape builder tool. Hold Alt. Delete these parts. Then P for pen tool. Create point here in the center. A for direct selection tool. Select this point and drag it down like this. Then deselect this object. I for eyedropper tool. Pick this color. L for ellipse tool. Draw ellipse. Then deselect this object. P for pen tool. With pen tool click here. One more time here and lock this object. Then V for selection tool. Hold your left mouse button here to pick reflect tool. Hold Alt. Click on this point. Release Alt. You will see this window. Click on preview. And if you see something like this, click on cancel. Press V for selection tool. Deselect this object. Select it again. Hold Alt. Click on this point. Everything's OK. Click on copy. If you see that this figure is too wide, not like this nose, select these two objects, drag them like this, then deselect them, A for direct selection tool, pick this point, use your right keyboard button, click it four times. Now the same here, select this point, one, two, three, four. Now press V, if you need to change proportions, if you need to make this object smaller, go ahead, make it smaller like this, place it here, A for direct selection tool, select these points of this object, drag them like this. Now V for selection tool, select these objects, go to properties panel, in Pathfinder click on unite. Great, deselect this object. I for eyedropper tool, pick this dark color, L for ellipse tool, create ellipse here, A for direct selection tool, select this point, in properties panel, click on convert selected anchor points to corner. Alright, now drag this point down, holding shift, now you can drag this point up. Play with points to get results similar to this. I will zoom in to show you better. Center this object. If you see these gaps here, A for direct selection tool, select these points and move them here. As you can see, no gaps here. If you want to change proportions of this nose like this, A for direct selection tool, select this point and move this anchor like this. Now select this point, move it here, now M for rectangle tool, draw it like this, select these two objects, shift M for shape builder, hold out, delete this part, V for selection tool, go for reflect tool, hold out, click here and click on copy. Select these two objects, in Pathfinder, click on Unite. Now click I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, L for ellipse tool, create ellipse here, then hold Alt, duplicate it like so, select them both, 
Press Ctrl G to group them. Now align them to center like this. Right click, arrange, send to back. Move them like so. I see that I need to make this ellipses smaller just a bit. Something like this. Now I for I drop a tool, pick this color again, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse, right click, arrange, send to back, align it to center, then move it like so. Control C, Control F. I for I drop a tool, pick this color, V for selection tool, Shift plus Alt, make it smaller. Deselect this object, I for I drop a tool, pick this gray color, P for pen tool, create a point here, and draw a figure like this. Then press V for selection tool, reflect tool, hold out, click on this point. If nothing happens, click on cancel, V for selection tool, deselect this object, select it again. Reflect tool, hold out, click on this point, click on copy, press V for selection tool, select them both, in Pathfinder click on Unite. Then you can place this layer down in your layer panel, like this. If you want to change proportions, go ahead, do it like so. Or if you need to move points, A for direct selection tool, select points that you want and move them. I will change proportions like this. Alright, now I for I drop a tool, pick this color, P for pen tool, create triangle like so. Then press V for selection tool, deselect this triangle, press P again, draw another triangle like this. V for selection tool, deselect it. P again and draw another triangle like this. Then deselect them. Let's watch at our reference. To manipulate these triangles, we'll use direct selection tool. It's very simple. Just pick point that you want to move. Move it like so. There should not be such parts like this. Everything should be sharp here. Alright. And there should be straight line. So, I will select this point. And move it like so. This line should be straight like this. The same here. This line is straight. Alright. Now, I for I drop a tool. Pick this color. Click here on Sweat Fill and Stroke, P for Pen Tool, simply create a line like this, then V for Selection Tool, go to Properties panel, go to Stroke, in this little menu, select this profile, number 4, then go to Stroke and click here to Round Cap. You can change Stroke to 2 points, I will set 1 and 5 points, press V for selection tool, then hold Alt, duplicate this layer like this, Ctrl D, and then move it like so. I will select these layers, press Ctrl G to group them, then go for Reflect tool, hold Alt, click on this point and click on Copy. If you see that you want to change proportions after this, it's never too late. I will select this object, A for direct selection tool, pick these points, move them like so, V for selection tool, deselect this object, select these ones, and place them here. Now let's create eyes, I for eye drop a tool, pick this color, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse like this, Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Make it smaller. I for I drop a tool, pick this color, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, 
make smaller, I for I drop a tool, pick this dark color, Control C, Control F, I for I drop a tool, pick this bright color, then I will zoom in, V for selection tool, make this ellipse smaller, and place it here. Maybe I should make it a little bit bigger, like this. I will make this ellipse a little bit smaller, like so. Then select them all, Ctrl G to group them, place them here, and make them all smaller like so. I'll place them closer to nose, then go for Reflect tool, click on Central Point, and click on Copy. Now it's time to create eyebrows. I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, P for pen tool, just draw a line like this, V for selection tool, click here on swap fill and stroke, change stroke to 5 points, then click on stroke, select this profile again, then I'll pick A for direct selection tool, change it like so, I think I will change it to 7 points, and let's place it here. Like this. Now select it, reflect tool, hold out and click on some central point. Click on copy. Press V to deselect this object. Then I'll change proportions here a bit. Like this. Now press P for pen tool. And create triangles like this. Now let's make only sharp corners here. Place these triangles like this, play with proportions if you want to. Then P for pen tool again. Create ear. V for selection tool. Deselect this object, select it again. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, I for eyedropper tool. Pick this color. V for selection tool. Move this object here. Then select these two objects. Right click, arrange, send to back. After this, you can play with proportions with direct selection tool. Then press V, select these objects, Ctrl G to group them, hold Alt, move them here. In Properties panel, click here on Flip Along Horizontal Axis. We don't need symmetry this time, if you need it, use Reflect tool. Alright, so let's create this little shadow here. I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, P for pen tool. Click here to create a point, then here, drag this point like this, then simply click a few times to connect these last points. V for selection tool, leave this object selected, select also this one, shift plus M, hold Alt and click here. After this deselect this object, select only this one. And in Layers panel you can place this object right there. Alright, if you'll need to play with this shadow, A for Direct Selection tool, select a point that you want to change, and do it like this. I've picked another color here, but I see it works very well in this composition. So now as we created this first wolf, we'll quickly create another one in a few minutes. Press Ctrl G to group it, then go to Layers panel, create another layer, rename it to Wolf2, and right here in Layers panel you can copy it layer to this one. Hold Alt and drag it here. Alright, let's lock Wolf number 1. You can quickly create three copies, just like me. Alright, so let's work with this one. To edit grouped layers, you can ungroup them, right click ungroup, or you can double click and work inside these grouped layers. First of all, let's manipulate ears, A for direct selection tool, simply move these figures like so. Simply use direct selection tool and selection tool. Alright, now for this one, I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, M for rectangle tool, Create rectangle here, V for selection tool, copy this rectangle, like this, move them like so, move this layer up, 
Then you can place this layer behind shadow or simply select it A for direct selection tool, pick this point and move it like this. It's up to you which way to choose. Place this eyebrow like so. Now select this eye, right click, ungroup, select these three layers and move them like this. Almost the same with this one, ungroup. Select these three layers, move them like so, then place this ellipse somewhere here. Let's delete these parts, also these triangles, and move these ellipses up. And also, let's move them like so. Let's also change moustache positions. To exit this group. Double click somewhere on the workspace. Let's lock this layer. Wolf number 2 is locked. Let's go to Wolf 3. Double click on this group. A for direct selection tool. Select these points. Move them like this. Then move these points. Alright, move eyebrows. Like this. Now select these parts. Rotate them like so. And move them like this. Then rotate these ones. You should not always use symmetry, alright? And now we'll create rectangle. I for eyedropper tool, pick this color. M for rectangle tool. Draw rectangle here. V for selection tool. Place rectangle here. Move it with Alt. Click on flip along horizontal axis. Like this. Alright, I will stop on something like this. Double click to exit this group mode. And let's go ahead with this one. Go to layers panel, lock this wolf 3. Double click to enter this mode. This one's gonna be very sad wolf. Change proportions like this. Move these points like this. They are not as straight, they are falling down, because Wolf wants to fool you, he wants to show you his weakness, but remember about these faces. Alright, let's flip along this one, right click, transform, reflect, vertical. Alright, delete this eyebrow, hold out, move this one, rotate it like this. Let's delete these parts, move these ones up, like so. His moustache is also falling down. And what's most important, we need to create two ellipses here. Double click on this group, let's make this one bigger. Hold Alt, duplicate it like this, make it smaller. Just a bit, like so. Exit this mode. Double click again. Simply delete this one. Hold Alt. And move this eye here. Alright, so now you can play with eyebrows a little bit. Something like this. You get the main idea. I will exit this mode. Now you see how it's easy to create cartoon style wolf and to apply different expressions to your character. All you need is few basic tools such as ellipse tool, rectangle, pen tool and shape builder tool to create cool cartoon illustration. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe. And what's most important, by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest, interesting and useful tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you'll click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.